Invest KL Conversations, brought to you by BFM in collaboration with Invest KL. From cosmetics and jet airplanes to palm oil and rubber, Malaysia and France are two countries that have always enjoyed keen economic ties. Relations have gone from strength to strength and today, Malaysia is the second largest economic partner in ASEAN for France, with some 260 French entities in the country alone. Today, we speak to two companies whose groundbreaking work demonstrate just how far Gallic Malaysian trade relations have come. Euronext listed Colas Rail, the local unit and subsidiary of the French industrial giant Bouygues, is a sterling example of how French engineering and Malaysia's business ecosystem are combining to build Asia's next great intra-city hub. We caught up with Richard Fostier, the president and CEO of Colas Rail Asia, for his thoughts on the collaboration thus far. He recalls immediately falling into a groove, enabling Colas a smooth and positive transition into working life in Malaysia. My experience in doing business in Greater KL uh, has been very positive. When the company Colastral Asia arrived in KL uh, and Malaysia in 2011, we've been able to set up our company in very short delays with a lot of assistance of all the different services that were involved in company creation, in finding for ourselves uh, the needed human resources, to start our business and activity. So yes, definitely, it's been a very positive experience. Like other foreign firms, Colas found it easy to integrate. The ecosystem here for business in KL is really favorable for international companies, for them to establish and to use Greater KL as a platform. A certain number of incentives are also in place to help companies such as ours to expand, not only on the domestic Malaysian market, but also in the region. Malaysia's connectivity needs and demands were as expected. The need in transport is such that uh, the Malaysian authorities are really ramping up and uh, implementing a major plan of equipping the Greater Kuala Lumpur with a lot of new railway infrastructures. You can see it all around the city, on the roads, the, the work for metros are ongoing everywhere. Likewise, Malaysia's talent pipeline was an admirable one. In that respect, we needed a, a lot of qualified skills and the Malaysian market, the KL market, has been able to provide us with these skills, even though due to the booming of that railway construction, uh, not only in Kuala Lumpur, but in the greater region of Southeast Asia, there is a kind of shortage of and lack of resources. Locals and expats have integrated well and are working together well, continuing to be ideal partners for sharing ideas, know-how and innovative ideas to grow together in the region. If I could try to define what makes our Malaysian colleagues uh, different is uh, that they are uh, all driven by a spirit of uh, achievement, uh, they are productive and due to their uh, multi uh, skills in terms of language, in terms of education, uh, the way Malaysia is open on the world and the way at the same time it attracts investment from everywhere, this international melting pot that we can find in the Greater Kuala Lumpur is, is really a, a major asset uh, from which companies like and groups like ours have a lot to benefit from. So what does the future hold for Colas Rail in Malaysia and ASEAN? Greater KL fits very well with Colas Rail's plans for the future. On the domestic uh, market uh, here in Malaysia first, where a growing number of projects are, are coming and for which we hope to play a, a, a major role. And uh, uh, our, dual, our strategy was dual. On the one hand, that domestic market plan, and on the other hand, the international targets that we have. We also spoke to Worldline, the France-based electronic payments company that is taking the global financial services industry by storm. They chose KL to set up shop, and not just any shop. Worldline chose KL to set up its regional management hub so that it could make key business decisions for all of Asia-Pacific. What was behind the bold decision? T. Kiming, CEO of Worldline in APEC, had this to say. Worldline chosen KL to be the management hub. So here, the whole APEC uh, decision maker for Worldline is sitting here. So it's very high on the value chain in terms of uh, providing the uh, direction 
the market research, the R&D is all in Kuala Lumpur. Worldline also has its regional innovation centre in KL. Kiming explains. Uh, as far as the innovation centre is concerned, it is also our, I, I believe, the fourth innovation centre that is going to be set up for Worldline, where we were going to have the latest uh, detailed kind of a digital uh, solution on display. And this will provide us as a centre for our customer around the region to visit to see how we provide that kind of digital solution. And that will help us to further innovate and uh, getting the talents, more and more talents, to support this uh, offering and solution. Why did Greater KL stand out from the other great cities in the region? Singapore is a nice country, but it's a bit too small for innovation. Uh, in the sense that the people might grow up is a city-state kind of a country. Uh, they might not think about a country where you have uh, states, you have province and whatnot. So when you develop the solution, you have to take care of all these things. And uh, people in Singapore might be having problem of thinking, you know, you've got to cross border and whatnot. Worldline isn't just innovating here. They are managing the region out of KL as well. Something which KL is increasingly making a name for itself. With the setup of the APEC Innovation and Management Hub, uh, it helped us to help us to develop the uh, services and the solution so that we can able to push out and roll out to all the country uh, within Asia Pacific. Worldline APEC uh, Innovation Hub objective is to uh, bring in two other uh, business line, that is the uh, merchant services and terminal as well as our uh, mobility and transactional services kind of business line. So we are trying to build up the capability in uh, APEC, in Greater KL here, and then we will then export all this uh, innovation as well as the uh, solution offering to the country where there are a lot of manufacturing where we can work with them to incorporate uh, this device into the uh, household appliances where then we are able to connect them and offer as a service to the consumer. Clearly then, the French-Malaysia nexus is so much more than the trade link of yore. It is a partnership that is conjoined and a unified goal, rooted in the belief that the sum of its parts are so much more than the individual components that comprise them. InvestKL Conversations, brought to you by BFM in collaboration with InvestKL. Greater KL, the regional headquarters for MNCs in Asia. For more information on how InvestKL can help your business, visit www.investkl.gov.my.